good it How's everybody doing? I'm tired and exhausted. I'm just now getting to where I can get some food. It's a hot pocket. And some chips. And of course my dog. Kind of down and out today. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, feels cold in the house. Got a heater on. I'm a little space heater in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Uh, yesterday I come home. I hope you guys are doing good. Yesterday. I noticed close around the middle of the day I started feeling weak and tired and I figure I'm weak and tired I'm just tired you know come home lay down in bed pass out for about 10 20 minutes my wife she's cooking she comes home I didn't even get on the video game like Come in a day and I'm feeling the same way and I'm just like, you know, things are slow right now. I'll come home, get some rest and try to do it tomorrow after the doctor's appointment. I have one tomorrow and I think my A1C is going to be really bad. Just been going through some things and eating. Can't afford like the good clean stuff, but so much of it and it doesn't last that long or it goes bad. And but I eat salads and wraps and vegetables for lunch, so I'm hoping. But then again I feel like just Let nature take its course. Just live the life I got. And no doctor's appointments, no bills. You should know what you're eating and not to eat and just keep carrying on. I know it sounds crazy, but my life, that's not what it seems to some people when you look at it, you know? I'm a good person, I made mistakes. I'm doing better, but, or maybe I'm just having one of those days a day, you know, I try to keep God and myself positive, I know I got him, I have some trust issues that I'm trying to work with people, people certain people, um, it's not me trusting them, but them trusting me. Um, we say we're going to put it in the past, but it still comes up. I admitted to it. Um, I didn't cheat or anything like that. It's more detailed. It's other Dominic. <laughs> Evil shit. It had something to do with this internet kind of thing sites that we should not go on to but for me it was addictive I'm a man I owe up to my shit I apologize and I fix it and I feel as if I'm doing that you got to give me some trust man you got to I mean, I've said it before yeah yeah but I didn't and got caught up but now I'm in a space to where I don't want nothing but positivity no negativity I don't want to argue I don't want to fight I'm just into a point where that doesn't matter anymore and I understand for the other person it's hard to 
trust and give that, but, you know, after a while, kind of get tired of it. And a sign that you do care and that you are doing better. I mean, you are that good person. And by still being around, it, it's kind of hard. It makes you want to leave because you feel like you're unappreciated, but you brung this upon yourself. I mean, now you have to fix it, and you can't run away, and you haven't. But when does it ever come to a point where it actually stops without that person not caring? Or just, it's just done with you, even though you're done with what you were doing, you know? Hmm. <clears throat> The other person's on medicine to keep them focused. In reality, I think it's to keep their self out their mind, out their head, so they won't keep bringing it up or thinking it. That that's still going on. I take my medicine to the anxiety, the depression, to kill it, to not to be put in a situation where. If you're done with it, you're done with it. That's all it is to it. But when someone feels a type of way or having dreams or something like that, you know, it's just... It's hard to not to freak out and be like, look, you know. But, like I said, you did it. You have to be understanding and it's hard. Hey, did I ever say I was perfect? No. Am I saying that I'm perfect now? No, but I'm doing a lot better. I have been. I'll put that behind me. Was I ashamed of it? Yes. Does it bother me now? No. That's why I'm talking about it. Because I'm over it. I'm done with it. So I'm home today. I'm so exhausted. I'm tired. My anxiety's going. I'm stressed. Get yourself in that situation. Running away from it's not going to help. And if you made it here this song, I know it may hard may be hard to believe because I'm a guy. I did not cheat. I did not sleep with anybody. It was the internet. And it was addictive. Could you consider that selfish cheating? Probably. But I 
if I'm told I got to let go of the past and believe and be faithful and make a vow to give myself to you. Um, you know, I think you need to work on your, on what you preach. You bring that to the table, you know. Because this person cheated on me. Slept with another guy. Oh, oh, oh. I know you just sat there and said you let the past go, but then here you are, I'm bringing it up. No, I'm just saying, I'm making a statement. If you're in a position where someone can't trust you, they think you're always doing wrong behind their back, um, and you fix that situation, but you was in that position to where they actually cheated on you with someone else, and it took you a little bit to get over it, but you did. And I don't think you should be hypocritical about it. I think you should understand it, you know, and go from it from there. Every time you feel a type of way, anytime you get in a position where you want to accuse, blame, or feel something about someone, Think about that. And this is where I'm at. I don't stress it no more because I don't want to do something that somebody's going to do to me that's going to hurt me. So, I'm in a happy spot. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I don't want to deal with none of that anymore. If we quit doing it, you shouldn't have to worry about it. But in my case, I still have to work with this person and go through it. And it sucks. And I pray about it. I got French onion dip that I was dipping my chips in. I just dipped my pizza pocket in it. Oh, yeah. I just feel lost sometimes I could be going through a midlife crisis I'm 42 everybody I hope this video is not gonna be a breakdown for some people but um my life's good I'm making it. And I know there's people out there that's got it a lot worse than what I got it now. And believe me, you know, I understand this other person's father um, has cancer and he's a great guy. You know, good father. And uh, they got stage three lung cancer. And it's just hard to go over there and deal with that and try to keep a smile on your face and deal with it and then come home and deal with these situations. And oh my God. I want that person to come home. Hug me, hold me, kiss me. Tell me everything's going to be okay and mean it, you know? Help me. It's like everything's always my fault. But really, this person is a great person. And I can't think of them of doing something like that to me again because that person does way too much for me and cares for me. To do something like that and then turn around and be ugly and nasty. I just wish there was some way I could figure out and let her see that. 
but I'm doing everything I can. Everything, and I can't fix it, and it sucks because I'm usually a good fixer. All right, sorry to board you guys. Um, I'm gonna lay down and go back to sleep. Um, Life is tough. Relationships are tough and I feel like um, I would think that like without not having to be with that person my life would be a lot stressful stressless but then again there's a big part to where I would miss that person and love that person and want to be with that person and don't want to be without that person. I just want to break up with the negativity of it. So I can be happy. I'm happy, but I know when things mentally is not right with the other one, then it puts me in an anxiety zone. Even though I don't do anything anymore like that but if that person's having a bad morning I'm having a bad morning I don't know if that makes any sense but I love you guys uh, no matter whatever the outcome comes on this video I appreciate all y'all I hope y'all have a blessed one and just keep your head up and your heart pumping. Now hold it down. Have a good one, man. Love y'all.